Media.com. It is February 23rd, 2018, 223. Wait, was that a movie? Oh, that was number 23. I think it had something to do with this day, though. Anyway, welcome to the Freakers Ball, y'all. Uh, live here on RealLibertyMedia.com and all the other places the audio stream goes out to. But the video show is on there on Channel 1 on RealLibertyMedia.com. That, that is the show page where you do get the video, and you do get the chat, and you do get, what else do you get? I don't know what else you get, but go over there and find out. You'll figure it out. So, uh, howdy, and welcome to the folks at Freak Dumbs Network. Glad to see you all over there checking us out tonight. I see I see. we got Bobby, we got Grammy, we got Cowboy Tech, we got, who else we got? <laughs> I don't know who else we got. <laughs> we got other people there. And we got whoever is listening on the audio stream and all the various places the audio stream goes out to. Thank you. And all the people that are here in Real Liberty Media Chat, in the Real Liberty Media Chat Room. What is going on here? I, I, I see this message coming in, and I, I can never get to it. <laughs> I can never get to it. Oh, there she is. All right. Hello? Hello. Did I, did I click that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Your, your window's always hiding on me. I, I can never figure it out. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. That's good. Yeah, I was just saying hi and howdy to the folks. Yep. Seeing how they're all doing out there on this freaky February 23rd day. Good. You know, and I wouldn't usually say this on the 23rd of a month, but this is the last Freaker's Ball of February <laughs> of, uh, of the month. Oh. It's the last Freaker's Ball of the month. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh. It was, uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that, that's, uh, yeah, it seems kind of weird and on the 23rd. Because we'd usually be able to sneak one in on the 30th. Right, but not this month. Not this month. We get shorted. Who took my two days extra? Anyway, howdy to all the folks here in the chat that are hanging around. We got, uh, who do we got there? We got Barman and Cowboy Tech and me and you and Kate and Beth and Z and BTC Bob and uh, Calcedoni and Circle and Chloe and Donald and Java Doctor and uh, JJ is wake up. You can't sleep. Wanna Taco and Killer Snowflake, which is also Chloe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good name, Chloe. I like that name for you, Killer Snowflake. <laughs> we got Raid in the Fluke Pot and Rome's uh, Trust No One, Colfax in Dakota in uh, Dima, and Frumpy and Graham Z uh, and Kozu and Mister Mister Asmodeus, uh, formal. Poxified and Pone Sauce and Slim Jim Flim and Phantom too. Wait, where's what happened to that Moe guy? Somebody, somebody kick him out? I think so. I hope so because I'm sick of these lurkers that don't talk. Oh. They're not they're not real chatters. They don't they don't say anything. I mean <laughs> Okay. I, I just I, I, I actually I, kicked them out because or hopefully they're banned because it's like <laughs> Why are you in a chat room if you're not going to say one freaking thing the whole time? I don't know. It's um, just a lurking thing. It's no, lurking no, he maybe, maybe I don't know. I, I, I see they just left on their own. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says Yawa, Yawa, left. Yawa, oh, yeah, or whatever the fuck, which also means Jesus. So what the fuck? Well, I, I don't get it. I, I'm sorry. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I, I, I don't care. Whatever. That, that's all good and fine. Um, <laughs> Dima, funny guy. Or, I think it's a guy. I, I don't know. Um, I, I, anyway, so uh, how do you all that are here in the chat? Welcome to the Frigger's Ball, and uh, it's Friday night. It is. It is. And it's been a weird ass week uh, overall throughout. Yeah. And 
We live in a we live we live in a, a strange universe. Yeah. Or a strange dimension of this universe, I guess. Or wait, what? <laughs> you know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Oh man! So uh, you're you're freezing, frozen. Yes. Uh, what, what's the uh, what? 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 Nineteen. Nineteen. Not, that, 19? Bad. Not that bad, but you got the ice storms going. We got we had a, we had a snow ice slash snowstorm last night, and now tomorrow they're gonna call for six to nine inches. So yay! Yay! Hey, look at that! Forty-two winter, degrees. Winter's it, alive it, and well here. It, it got up to fifty-three today. Now it's That's pretty damn good. Now it's still 42. Now look at all now it's, now it's the Weather Channel well, it's again. 18 now. Oh yeah, that's 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 all right. That's all right. Low of 31. Wait, what? Oh, oh, low of 10. <laughs> yeah. Maybe low of 31. It's 18. Anyway. So. <laughs> Tomorrow. Oh, it's snow. 18 right now. Well, if it gets to 36, some of that snow will melt. So. Yeah. Right. But it's, we're, we're getting more around tomorrow at like about six o'clock at night. Yeah, well, weather's uh, winter's got a little while yet to make it another. Yeah, we're all, 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 almost a month left before the official end. Wisconsin, yeah. Ofi official end of winter, so. I mean, it, it's just a normal winter, all right. Nothing's really different about the weather here. No, no. no. I just want to say that because. It's not global warming. It's not global cooling. It's just the fucking winter in Wisconsin, and there's nothing different about it <laughs> at all than any other fucking winter that I've since I've lived in this state well, or in you, Minnesota, if, for that matter. If, if you type in there, the kind of shit we get up here, and it has nothing to do with global cooling or global fucking warming. Well, if if you type there, if there. if you type and it there, it has nothing to do with the access being open. <laughs> At all. I don't even bother. Oh. All right, let me say. <laughs> so I mean, you... it might a little bit, but seriously, if it tilted it exponentially, we'd all be fucking dead or something, right? Right, right. So if it did tilt, it only tilted a little bit. I mean, these things take time. These things take thousands of fucking years. Right. So, I'm just saying, I can bitch about the weather. Well, if I some want. things do, but some I mean, things... Uh, you know, so sometimes the uh, magnetic pole flip, which is different than a actual directional pole flip, but a magnetic pole flip, um, it doesn't take year. It could happen immediately. Boom. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know if you ever, you ever played much with magnets, but uh, you, yes. you can kind of like get them closer and closer and closer, and then all of a sudden, boom, they shoot together or shoot apart, depending on... Yes. Which, which way you're doing with them? So it's kind of like okay, that. Okay, I get that. Yeah, and and if you have those mounted on a on a spherical object, um, and you can drive them around and they'll go whoop whoop. <laughs> I I I've played with them on different things. I put them like on, on like a, you know computer box fans. You can put them on the blades there, and 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 and, and so it'll it'll rotate as you move another magnet in and out. <laughs> and you can so you can watch kind of the weird interactions that happen with them. Well, we got those weird super. They're not super magnets. They're like black colored. They're small. We got those kind that yeah. they do that. Yeah, so you, yeah, you can have fun doing. But but right. you can see that the, that the magnetic pole flip can happen rapidly. Based on what, like an earthquake or something? No, based on nothing, just a, based on the uh, alignment of other objects around it, around, around the Earth, uh, whatever, whether that be so the what sun. What are you supposed to do? Fucking not do shit? Sit on our fucking ass? Well, what are you supposed to do? There ain't nothing you can do. It's, if it's, do yeah, there ain't thing. nothing, wait, there's nothing you can do. If, if it wants to right. flip, it's got to flip. Uh, I would That's not lose, I would not lose a microsecond of sleep over it. That's what's <laughs> You can't fucking worry about this shit because it's, you don't know when or if it's going to happen. And just sit there and worry about it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, you know, whatever. It is what it yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's what it, it is. is what it fucking is. That's what I, I, I just... I just, I just, I, don't I mean, I'm just saying, paranoia I'm just saying it can happen. That's all. I'm not saying that that's good, bad, or indifferent. I, I mean, I, I don't I mean, know what the effects are. I'd be in fear of it. It, it. 
Uh, well, first off, uh, first off, you don't know if or when it's going to. First, first off, Moose, we we don't know what what effect that causes. I mean, if anything, it might screw up some uh, the right. navigation of birds or or right. other animals' migration. But I, I mean, as far as uh, maybe you'll you'll have to get a new compass, probably. <laughs> right. I mean, I don't know. We don't know. You, you can't say oh, if that happens. It's a, it's but a but it, but you I don't I don't think happens. there's anything anything catastrophic that would happen from it. it it's just the 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 the, uh, the magnets going a different way. That's all. We can't stop. It would be destructive though. You can't stop climbing from changing, Beth. <laughs> you know better. <laughs> oh, those are different kind of poles. Oh, that was probably like a. That was probably like a. We can stop climate change, or we can stop the magnetic pole from shifting. That, that was like a stripper pole, Juana. That wasn't that. Was, you're talking about a whole different thing there. <laughs> yeah. We're not saying that, Beth. No, no, no. We're not she knows. She, 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 she's playing. She's playing. She, she knows better. <laughs> I mean, I just I, my point is the climate changes all the time. It's just it is what it is. Yeah. So I'm not going to sit there and lose sleep or fucking worrying about the goddamn poles shifting or something. Killed, killed by the killer killed snowflake. Uh, I can't. I don't have time for that. Oh. I'm just living. You know, it's just, I'm just trying to fucking live here. It's like, don't put, don't try to make me all paranoid and make me, like, fearful. Why would it's you like, be paranoid or fearful? Be, uh, Wait, why, why would you be paranoid or fearful of this? Certain people in the chat room like to talk about this shit. Well, like, they, there's something we could do about it, for one thing. The well, other thing is, like, we're supposed to we be worried about it. I'm not fucking gonna worry about something I can't fucking control. The, the band will be coming anytime, Juana. Just chill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it, so, sometime, you know, it, it it it's kind of exciting to get, you know, ooh, this big thing has got to happen. Eh, but really, eh, whatever. Um, you don't know, and you can't predict it. <laughs> and it's like, why? Why worry and lose sleep over it? Like you said. Well, even if you could. Even if you could predict it. Right. So what? What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 to me, it would be like, um, what was that movie? Oh, uh, Independence Day. Independence yeah, Day. Yeah. Remember that movie? Okay. The, the aliens had arrived. They were parked around around the planet. And, yeah, and, you can see them. They're in the sky. Yeah, right? yeah. The big old, big old spaceships are up there. Yeah. <laughs> and then those people in L.A., and they all go to the top of this building with the big sign, right. Welcome Aliens! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So it's fun and it's exciting. Of course, they all got blown to hell. But, <laughs> but oh it, was still, it was a good time. They were having a, they partied till the very end. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. Uh, Mars Attacks, they did a little bit different, uh, uh, but but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, Mars Attacks is such a great movie. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's kick it off with some tunes here. Okay. Because um, Wana Wana's sitting there waiting for the band to come, and uh, I guess he is. He's, I, he's it, chomping it, at his bit. Chomping, chomping. <laughs> so we're all going to take a little ride here. All right. <laughs> Johnny Winter would have been 73 today. Uh, he died like three or four years ago. Uh, and uh, thank you, Kate, for that request there. Um, uh, yeah, Moose Girl, he was the older uh, of the brothers. Uh, uh, Edgar was like a couple years younger than him. Anyway, before that, we had uh, Free with All Right Now. 
yeah, you could have thought that was bad company or or, or something else. But no, no, that was free. Uh, yeah, it's still Paul Rogers. Anyway, we kicked it off there with Steppin' Wolf and uh, the Magic Carpet Ride from uh, back in 1969. Nice. Nice. Rock and roll. Classic stuff to get it going here. Oh. Huh? Cool. Cool. <laughs> I said. Yes, indeed. So. Uh, uh, freaking snow. No. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It'll go away soon enough. And then I the, know. The, the, not, the, no, not soon enough. What? Not soon enough. No, it'll be soon enough. <laughs> not soon enough for me. Anyway, um, so I've been watching a little bit of the Olympics. I know... I well, know no, hey, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. That's good, you know, as long as... It, it, all I can say is, some of that shit takes fucking talent. To do. Oh, no doubt about it, no doubt about it. The fucking figure skating, and the fucking snowboarding, and the fucking skiing. Like, when they do the half pipe on the skiing, they're on two freaking skis, dude. They're going up and down in, in this thing, and I've seen, like... Okay, the snowboarding, if you wipe out snowboarding, it can be pretty bad. I mean, if you hit that edge of that half pipe, yeah. it's like solid ice. So you're going to fuck yourself up probably, right? Oh, sure, sure. But anyway, the snowboarding has to be a little bit less, or a little bit easier to do. Not much, but a little bit. Because the skiing, you're on two freaking things, not just one thing. Right. Because I have seen this guy yesterday, that watched it in the living room calls me in there. He's like, you got to see this. And I goes up over the ledge, comes down, one of the skis, like, hits the fucking edge, right? Yeah. It busts. It, his leg slams into the fucking edge. He goes barreling down into the middle of the thing. I'm like, ouch. <laughs> I mean, some of that shit takes fucking talent, right? Well, I think pretty much all of it takes talent, except maybe the, the curling. <laughs> right. Well, like, it's just a little. You gotta kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, okay, knowing before. what you're knowing what you're doing and taking talents, all different thing. But uh, yeah. Right. No, right. no. Those guys. I mean, all, all that stuff. All those events. They're you know, people spend their lives preparing for a single yeah. event. You know, and it's it's you know, it's all right. great. I I, I just I just the gold for Russia for in figure skating. Yeah. She was amazing. She's fifteen. And she beat all these other skaters, and she's 15, and she is amazing. She totally deserves it. I deserve it because her performance was amazing. But it's just like 15. Holy crap! You know. Yeah. And then you, but okay, I'm con I'm convinced though that to do luge or the skeleton or the even maybe the bobs was a little bit safer maybe, but luge and skeleton are just insane. Okay, you have to be insane to do those sports. Oh, right. There, yeah, no, no doubt. You have to be a little bit fucking insane. Maybe not completely, but... <laughs> Maybe not. Seriously, what, what would want you to do that? What would make you want to do that? Uh, I mean... The, the thrill... It, what's that, what's that, that uh, sports... Thrill, sports but... uh, what's that sports show you used to be on? The Thrill of Victory, The Agony of Defeat. Right. What was that show called? Um, great wide world of sports. <laughs> wide, wide, wide world of sports. Yeah. Right. So that, that that's what that's, that's I guess that's what drives them. You know right. they 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 want that thrill of victory. But to do it that way, I mean, what would make you want to propel yourself down an icy fucking curvy thing on a fucking basically a toboggan, going head first or going feet first? <laughs> Either one of them ways are both dangerous well, as I, I know it's not the same, but I, I used to uh, go uh, off-roading out there in the desert. Um, yeah. And uh, we'd be on, on our motorcycles or quad racers and just just barreling like 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 banshees down down these these paths. It was always like whoop de doos and stuff, and you're just flying through the air. And I mean, at, at any second going at the speeds we were going around these things. You could have just totally wiped out and, and, and killed yourself easily, but 
It's yeah, just a freaking I mean, thrill. That's why, because it's a freaking so, thrill. Guess, yeah. <laughs> but it's just like I don't. I, I would not do. Uh, maybe I'm a fucking chicken. I don't know. But I have been skiing, downhill skiing. I've wiped out really bad. Yeah. And it was no fucking fun, dude. It, it's but, but 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 you you were doing it. Is the adrenaline pumping in your? You just. Yeah. <laughs> I understand uh, the, that part of the feeling. As far as doing the, you know, years, uh, doing the years and years of practicing for one tiny thing, I, I, I don't, right. I wouldn't be into that. But no, um, right. Uh, you know, just friend, friendly, uh, uh, you know, just doing it for the fun of it. I get. Um, just because it's yes. exciting and, and cool, and right. you have a great time doing it. And and uh, but yeah, I, I I don't understand the whole. Uh, I'm gonna be the best in the world. I don't care if I'm the right. best in the I world. Mean, I, get I just I just, just want to have a good time. <laughs> it's basically a competition. I mean, like I I I'm not like all oh, oh USA USA. No, I'm not like that when I watch the Olympics. I'm just like in awe of some of the the athletes, you know, and the shit they can fucking do. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's no, I, I totally get that. Awesome. I get that. I mean, like the biathlon. Like, I was at the bar last night having dinner and talking to this girl, and she's like, oh, I didn't even know they had a thing called the biathlon. What is it? And, like, it's cross-country skiing and target shooting. And she's like, oh. She's like, well, why do they do that? And I'm like, well, from my, understanding, from my understanding, it goes back to ancient Norway, or, you know, where they, that's how they used to hunt. They used to put fucking skis on their feet, and, and that's how they used to hunt, and hunt their, when they went hunting for their dinner or whatever. Right. That's what they did. And she's like, oh, really? Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen that event, but it seems like it would be, I mean, cross-country skiing, that's not really thrilling to watch. Um, no, but... And, and shooting at targets, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> but you know, yeah, no, but that's where it comes from. It, 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 same with the um, the Birkenbeiner in up in Hayward that they have. The what now? That race started. It's a, it's it's a cross country ski race. It's an international cross country ski race up in Hayward, which is this weekend, I think. And um, they uh, it's based on the. The, eight, the old story from Norway about ha King ha Hakan was born when he was a baby. He was he was born in, as a king. When he was born, he was the king. And some other people wanted to have him killed because they wanted to take over power or whatever. Sure. And so these two cross country these two skiers and they call them Birkebeiner or something. Birkebeiner. I don't know what they, the name is for. Right. The Birkebeiner means something. But anyway, um, they rescued the baby. They took the baby, a group of them, like five of them. And they took the baby and they, uh, to protect him. And they hit him out so he couldn't, wouldn't be killed, so he would remain king. And this is a true story. It's an ancient, it goes back to old Norway or whatever. All right. So anyway, that's where the Birkin Minor and Cross Country Ski and all came about. Is it goes back to Scandinavia, oh. cross-country skiing. Okay, apparently there's some biking involved there as well. Ski, run, biking? bike. Huh? Not in the biathlon in the Winter Olympics. No, 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 the no. The, 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 the target park. <laughs> Bur Burka, Burka it's a thing, apparently. Yes, it is. It's a huge <laughs> thing. It's a huge thing. I lived up in Hayward for 10 years, and trust me, I, I dreaded... Working minor weekend just because so many people came to town. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. At the same time, it was kind of fun. Parts of it were kind of fun because um, it is an international event. I mean, it's huge. Like people come from Italy and Norway and Sweden to compete in it. You know, and it's a huge thing. I mean, anybody can be in it, but there's also a pro aspect of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anybody can be in the Birkenbinder, but you have to practice. You can't just go, oh, I'm going to do the Birkenbinder today and go up there. Like, if I were to drive up there, you know, tonight and say, I'm going to do the Birkenbinder tomorrow. No, I'd be, probably be dead after the, lap, the first lap. It's not even a lap. It's like a trail. Okay, cool. But anyway.
anyway, it, it's just a thing. But cross country skiing, if you've never done it, it is really super good exercise. I mean, it's super good exercise. Yeah, no, I've only I've only done the downhill stuff. It's different than downhill because it's different skis for one thing, and you're not. It's not all about just going downhill. You know what I mean? It's just about going on a straight. There's some little hills and valleys and stuff. You know what I mean? Right. But it's not the same thing as downhill. Downhill's more like the adrenaline rush going fast. You know what I mean? I mean, you can go fast and cross your skiing, but it is super good exercise. Okay. Well, here's here's a story about the biathlon. Okay. U.S. Biathlon Association to boycott World Cup final in Russia's Cumin. <laughs> Whatever. So uh, it says the Biathlon Association has criticized the International Biathlon Union for its decision to hold the World Cup final in Russia and plans uh, to announce on Sunday it will boycott the March event oh, that's stupid. over a doping scandal. Oh, Now, okay. to me, personally, if I was going to be cross-country skiing, there'd be some doping going on. Oh, hell yeah. Not, what not kind what, of dope are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, that's I mean, the thing. It's not, I'm not, I'm not talking about the dope they're talking about. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the dope they're talking about either. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's got to be, be some weed I'm sorry, but involved. snowboarders, snowboarders smoke fucking weed. All right. Well, <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not fucking me. They're like the skateboarders in the winter. I mean, come on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and hockey players, and basketball players, and baseball players. A lot of athletes smoke fucking weed. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just saying that. They're not fooling me. Yeah, well, you know, what? Well, who's, who's that guy? Who's that kid that was doing all that swimming, winning all those gold medals? Michael Phelps. Yeah, he was a, he was a freaking gold, you know, best yeah, he swimmer smoked ever. Weed. He says he doesn't anymore. I don't believe him. He doesn't do any less either. <laughs> he doesn't do it anymore. He's, no, he says he quit smoking weed. I don't believe him. All right, all right. But anyway, um, they all... They, the one girl, apparently, I didn't even read the story, but she had a fucking anti-doping shirt on, and she gets busted for doping. <laughs> the Russian, the Russian well, that's, kind of, also, that's, that's kind of the way it goes. You know, the people that protest about a, a certain thing right. the most are the ones that are going to do it. Right, it's like whatever, hypocrites. But um, the hockey, though, the women's hockey <laughs> was very compelling. I, I stayed up late and I watched it. This was Wednesday night, and it was awesome. I mean, it was fucking awesome. But I do have to say this: in my opinion, of watching hockey for as long as I have, the Canadians played a little bit better than the Americans. They did, just plain and simple. Okay, they were controlling the puck better. They were just they were playing better. So what happened was that this girl from War Road, Minnesota, on the U.S. team, which was War Road was where I stayed when Zach had to play up there by Kentucky Sam. Yeah. And and hockey is huge up there. Mm -hmm. She she scored the tying goal to make it two two. Oh. So that was awesome. So then they went in the OT and they only do one overtime and then after overtime runs out, which it did. They didn't. No one, neither team scored. The overtime that goes to a shootout, which is a, one shooter against the goalie. You need one player against the goalie, one on one against the goalie, and you try to score a goal on the goalie. This one player going up against, the, which is a tough position for the goal, very tough position to be in. Sure. Like if there's a breakaway in the game, and it's one player against the goalie. You could go either way. Either the goalie's going to stop it, or it's not, it's not going to. You know. Right, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a poker game at that point. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it, this comes down to the goalies now. Who's the better goalie, basically, when you're in the shootout situation? Or who's the, who has better shooters on their team? You know right. what I mean? Right. And so anyway, um, our, the U.S. goalie did really good, and the other goalie was amazing, by the way. The Canadian goalie is awesome, okay? Anyway, the, the one Minnesotan... Or she, she's the one U.S. girl. She's also from Minnesota, I think. There was like eight Minnesotans on the team, okay, on the U.S. team. No, so six. There was eight, eight U.S. players, eight players from the, that played in the U.S. on the Canadian team, and six players that played on the Wisconsin Badgers. So that's what it was. There was eight players that played on the Wisconsin Badgers on the Canadian team, and there were six players that played with the Wisconsin Badgers on the U.S. team. In high in college. Yeah. 
So that's pretty cool. But the girl that scored a tie and goal, that's awesome. She was from War Road, right? right? Anyway, this other girl comes up, and she... The, the U.S. goalie lets one go in, and then this other girl from the U.S. comes in, and she does this awesome goal. It's the best goal I've ever fucking seen in my life. Right. And she's, you know, and so and, anyway, the U.S. ended up winning. Well, it must have really sucked for the Canadians because, like I said, they did play a little bit better, I thought, throughout the whole game than the U.S. did, as far as puck control and all that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even the announcers agreed with me. They were saying, oh, they're not doing as good as they could be. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so it had to have been heartbreaking. But yeah. the one girl from Canada, she freaking, they gave her the medal. And as soon as the camera went off or whatever, or, you know, as soon as they weren't live, she rips that, takes off her fucking medal, like, in protest or whatever. Well, then the day after, she apologized. Because, I'm sorry, that is poor sportsmanship. And if you can't handle losing, you shouldn't play sport. Period. Right. It's just any sport. Because no matter how good you think you are or how good you are, you could always lose. You know? Absolutely. So. Anything can happen. Yeah. But anyway, it was just interesting. It was cool that the U.S. and Canada actually have the best female hockey players in the fucking world. <laughs> And a lot of them are from Minnesota. Right. They have this the story about these twin sisters that the the sister was adopt the one was adopted as a baby, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From Korea. And so they grew up playing hockey in White Bear Lake, Minnesota, and they both went and played on the same team in college or whatever. And so the Korean girl uh, you know, I can't I can't, I, I can't imagine that hockey's real big in Korea. They have it. I couldn't believe it either. <laughs> I'm like, really? I mean, <laughs> Korea has a hockey team? I don't have a female hockey team. Don't seem like the kind of area for, for hockey. Right. I, I was I like, know. what? That is cool. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Yeah. Good. But it sucked because in the game, there's no checking in female hockey. Not like men's hockey where you can check someone in the boards or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And so... This one Canadian comes up to the, the U, one of the U.S. players and just lays her out. Head contact, the whole bit. They don't call a penalty. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and, like, and then we do it, or we do something a little bit similar, not as bad, to one of the Canadian players. Oh, we get a penalty. Or the U.S., not me, the U.S. I'm like, oh, my God. And I wasn't even really rooting for... Um, I wasn't really rooting for um, either team. I just wanted to watch the game. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. But it was really good. It was really fun. To well, watch, that's so. great. I mean, hey, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, I know there are people out there that watch it. I, I don't know who they are, other than you. Um, I, I don't watch it like religiously or anything, but so you're not sitting I've been there watching, with like the, the online live thing because <laughs> the one that's on the main sh channel, the prime time. I would never have been able to see that U.S. Canada hockey team if I didn't watch it on MS or um, NBC Sports Network live on on the internet and oh, on TV. Okay. See, there's two channels. They're like the prime time NBC, but then they show a lot of the other events live on the sports network, which is really cool. Yeah, I think Aussies have a hockey team. Pretty sure. Not certain on that, but. Yeah. Well, um, hey, if if Jamaicans can bod bob sled, bob sled, ain't no reason Aussies can't play hockey. <laughs> well, I just I even think it's weird that Florida has a fucking hockey team. I'm like, really? Yeah. Florida has a hockey team. Okay. Like, <laughs> so, like okay, whatever. Well, they, had, they had San Diego. San Jose has a hockey team. San Jose has a hockey team. They, no, they had it in San Diego too. You know, we we had it was a uh, whatever you call it, not 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 the NHL, but the other. And A F A H L. I, I don't know what it was. Some one of junior, one, one of those. Junior league, probably. Yeah. Different. It was different league. It was A H L or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. The goals. The San Diego goals. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, Anaheim which, has the Which, which, there you go. Which, there you go. Having a seagull as a hockey team mascot. <laughs> there you go. Anaheim has the Ducks. 
the Anaheim Ducks. But, 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 but ducks go where it's frozen. Seagulls kind of tend to right. not. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Seagulls aren't very, I mean, they could be badass in fall. Seagulls could be badass. Oh, they, could, they, could, they could sure crap on somebody at a high speed. Or they could peck <laughs> your eye out. <laughs> they could. They could peck your eye out. You know, they, that's, they, they used to be the scourge of the uh, the, the lunch, you know, outside lunch area right. in junior high. These seagulls come by and crap on everybody trying to get But you know food. what's funny in the background? Is there seagulls in Duluth? Like oh. Like 20, like. Well, you got the lakes there. Like all year long. Because they're so hearty, and they're so freaking huge, and you go try to go to McDonald's up there on London Road and wreck in Duluth. Yeah. It's just in the summertime or whatever, or when it's not winter, and you throw one French fry out your car window, there's like 30 of them. Oh, I'll bet. It's like, oh my <laughs> God, 30 of them, like instantly. It's like they, they, it's like they have this, like, I don't know what it is, this is about food. Like, they, and their eyesight's really good. Well, they're good sized birds. Yeah. I mean, you know, they they they're huge. They, they, they could eat a lot of food. Yeah. So they're um, big. They're big birds. They're big. You know, you don't think of them as being. You see one up close, you're like, oh, and you see thirty of them all together, you're like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. I mean, it's crazy. Definitely. All right, let's play some more music here, and right. uh, and uh, we'll we'll come back after these. This is um. Oh, I think you'll enjoy this. Huh? That's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's. I, I'm sure I will. I mean, how could I not? I I don't know. I I don't know. It's my selection, so you're gonna have to like it. <laughs> Rick Derringer, Edgar Winner, Ringo Starr. Oh yeah. yeah. Just a, a wild stab in the dark here, but I'm going to say, that girl, she ain't got no time. Uh, it's, uh, the dead horse is there for the moose girl. Ain't got time. Before that, uh, John Five, the Sugarfoot Rag, doing a little uh, chicken pick in there for you. He, uh, I, I don't know much about John Five. I've listened to quite a few of his uh, videos here on the YouTube. and that, that's, that's a, that's, uh, He's a talented mofo, that boy. Yes, indeed. Uh, anyway, we kicked it off there with Rick Derringer, Edgar Winner, Ringo Starr, the Ringo Starr All Star Band, basically, uh, doing a rock and roll. Hoochie uh, Koo. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Fun stuff. I would say. But that's me. What do I know? <laughs> Okay, I was muted. All right, yeah. Good yeah. stuff, man. Yeah, rock and roll. Yeah. Oops. I hate that when I think I click the unmute, but I didn't. Well, you know, I, I hate it when I do the other way. <laughs> when I, I was going to go to this Time Warp Prom tonight. Time Warp Prom? Yeah, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I should do something like that. I should just put myself out there more, like. Well, no, what, what, what is it? What What is it? It's a time warp prom. It's like it's, it's, it was going to be the eighties, the eighties theme. Was, but you can you can dress however you want. You can dress just in your normal twenty eighteen clothes. Well, it, 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 prom that's for like. Um, no, I, it's like it's for anybody, all ages. It's like you know, let's say you fucking had an experience at your prom in the eighties or something, and you want to go like relive it. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Not the bad experience, but like make up for the bad experience by having a better prom. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. It says if you graduated, okay, re relive your fun 70s and 80s years, second annual Greatest Hits 98.1 Time Work Prom, Friday, February 23rd. Um, if you graduated then or got married then or your kids were born then or for no reason, just come to have fun. Dance to the music or just hang out with your friends. Dance like the 70s or 80s or come as you are. We'll have memories from the 70s and 80s like video games, movies, dances like the hustle and the thriller dance, old school MTV, and of course the music. And it's free. And we'll also have cool prizes including concert tickets. So make sure you bring all your friends and have a great time. Oh, neat. Nifty. I mean, I should have went because maybe it's Blue Ox tickets or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. I'm pretty fucking lucky 
winning tickets. I mean, come right? On. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, right? Exactly. <laughs> no, but um, so I went, I thought about going to that because I like to dance. I'm I'm a good I I I can dance to any era of music. Basically, I mean, I pride myself on that. Like my kids think I dance like a monkey lady or something. <laughs> <laughs> But they're just, they don't know better. Well, it's all right. Like I said, uh, you know, on the other thing, as long as, as long as you, as long as you're having fun, as long as you enjoy it, just, just, okay. just go this for it. Is, this is one thing that I have learned is that, and this is something I just, I learned on my own. Like, I know this to be true. Okay. Active, being active is huge. Okay. Okay. And. If you're just going to laze around and sit around and be a slug, your health's going to suffer from that. Well, if you're going to be a slug, be the best slug you can be. Right. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> you want to live longer and, you know, have your bones and everything and your muscles, like, be functioning better. Activity is huge. Like, sure. No matter what it is. Walking, running, jogging, dancing. I don't know. Doing dishes. I don't care, you know. Stand up for being the stork Uh You can't just be like, oh, I'm too old to do that. No. But you, you do get older, and you like me, I can't downhill ski anymore because I don't want to. I don't want to put my body through that agony <laughs> right. any longer. I'm not young anymore to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. cross-country ski, though. You know what I mean? Right. Because no, I, 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 you know, if... Uh, if I was still going out to the desert like I used to, I'd be in a dune buggy instead of on a motorcycle. <laughs> you, know, it's just, you get older and things change, but you still have to be active. Yeah. Like at work, I try not to be sedentary. I make sure that I get up and go out to lunch or go out to, when I go out to lunch, I go to the dollar store and get something or I go to the fucking other store. You know, I do stuff. I don't just... Yeah, best dune, bu dune buggies are great. Sand, sand rail, sand rail. Yeah. Well, you don't. You're not supposed to be on the back of a motorcycle. You're supposed to be riding, the, riding the thing. <laughs> what good is being on the back? You get on there in front, and you, you, you can ride, ride that, ride that thing like a crazy woman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you have to be active. I mean, it's up to you guys if you don't want to. You, want me, you know what I mean? I just feel bad. It's like you, you have to, like, stay active. Like, even if it's just going for a walk around the block. Sure, whatever you know, whatever, um, whatever works. You know, whatever works right, for you. Just because there's this article that came out. Um, oh, I thought this was a new thing. Uh, Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, but you're not saying anything. Oh, I know. I thought that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I can hear you, but you're not no, saying anyway, anything. Anyway, no. There was this thing that came out. I can't find the article. I've done two searches now, and I can't find it. I thought it was recent. Yeah. Maybe it isn't. But it says, is sitting the new smoking? Ah, oh, yeah. They've been talking about that stuff and, for a while. Yeah, they've been saying that for a long time, which I do agree with, though. I agree that a sedentary lifestyle is bad for you as a human being. Um, Ain't killed me yet. <laughs> it, uh, I know, but it's not just a problem. It, it, it seriously is a, a true thing. You know, if you want to be healthier or whatever, do not become sedentary. Just, you know, even if you got to force yourself to go for a walk around the block, it's better than not going for Yeah, it. whatever, you know, you can just uh, work on your yard or whatever. It don't matter. You can do anything. Right, as long as you're doing something. That's the thing. Not just sitting. Yeah. You know? Um, ooh, I like VW Bugs. My dad had three of them when I was a kid. Yeah, it was a they were really fun. Talk about dune buggy. You know, most of the uh, oh, yeah, dune buggies dune and sand I rails had. Have... My, my, well, I grew up in Minnesota. <laughs> most of the dune buggies and sand rails have VW engines. You know, built basically oh, okay. built on a, on a well, some more on a VW chassis, but uh, a lot yeah. of them they just make a tube, uh, tube steel chassis. Uh, Look, I do dune buggy in today. 
You get to you get to you gotta get some real good shocks, the big old tires and the and the, and the speed shifter and the. <laughs> yeah. I could do that today. Oh yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Yeah. See, up here in the Northland, we got snowmobiles. Oh, That's yeah. our version of the dune buggy. <laughs> right, right. But um, I really don't like snowmobiling myself, personally. I don't. I mean, it can be cool. Yeah. But it's dangerous as fuck, and I just, I just. Too many idiots out there that are on snowmobiles, and I don't trust them. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to die. <laughs> so, I <laughs> I, you know, ice fishing is really fucking fun, though. If it's something you've never done, I would recommend at least one one time in your life. You and do. probably only one time. <laughs> <laughs> no. you got to no. make it fun. No, no it's, it's, like, it's, fun. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's uh, like whitewater rafting. I'm, right. I'm 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 glad I'm glad that I did that once. <laughs> I did it once in Jackson Hole. Yeah. And it was it wasn't me controlling. It was one of the ones that died. The control. Right. The yeah. You get like eight people, eight people in a raft. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. In, in, in Jackson Hole, that was really fun though. And uh, yeah, so it's cool. Get that duck. Get that duck. I'm not getting that duck. I did. Okay, I did. Anyway, um. Sorry, Chloe. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's just one of the best things I did, though, was also on the same trip that I did the white rider rafting, was going for like a three hour horse ride up in the mountains, the Grand Tetons. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was also awesome. The white rider rafting, I thought was fun, but you didn't like it. Oh no, I I uh, well I I liked all of it except for almost dying, and 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 then and then and then getting just totally sunbaked, where it ruined part of my skin forever. Oh God! Oh, okay, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> but but the some of the parts were really fun of the of the rafting, and I and I was there with some some people I, I enjoyed hanging around with. Um, so yeah, I mean it it was it was good. Um, what part of it was not good, though? Well, the part where you said you almost died. Yeah, I almost died. I almost died. How? Well, I was, you know, you, 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 certain places you you got to like sit up on. Well, you got you sit up on the on the the big outer, yeah. outer tube there. Yep. And um and and yeah, and, and, and then and you're going you you're, you're going through these parts and we were going through this one part. <laughs> and and it was just it was like these like really fast rapids but super yeah. super rocky. Yeah. And and I started falling backwards out of the thing there. Oh no! And and there was no doubt in my mind. Anyway, I was positive this was going to happen. That my head was going to like smash Hit into a rock. super sharp rock, and that right. would have been it. But but yeah. ju just at the last second, the guide grabbed my uh, vest. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> and yanked me back in, but I could feel it. I could feel him starting to hit on the back yeah. of my head. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. But so that, 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 that was not my favorite part of the ride at no. all. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Yeah, you got to hang on to that rope pretty fucking tight, dude. <laughs> I, I I was rafting on on the American River up up in the Sacramento Mountains there, uh, Chloe. And, uh, Mine was at Jackson Hole, a Snake River, I think it's called. Yeah, it was the American River, and and some years the American River just really rips, and this was one of those years. Yeah. That, when I was there, and you uh, must have been there like in the springtime or something, or maybe after. Yeah, that's when you go as the snow belt, and, and then uh, up river they they periodically every couple hours or so they let out a huge bunch of water and the rafting oh, okay. oh. the, the oh, rafting that makes it more interesting the rafting people know when this is going to happen right they have a, like a schedule or whatever that they let yeah, the water yeah. out and so when that the, when that comes out then the water starts starts going pretty well and yeah. and and on, on <laughs> going really well <laughs> <laughs> so even yeah, in the slow yeah. parts, you're still moving pretty good. <laughs> so. Right? Yeah. No, uh, it was. Yeah, I had a I had a really fun time with doing it. It was really fun. I mean, I didn't have a, a life almost life ending experience as you did, but it was. Uh, I still remember, you know, perfectly to the day. I've, uh, I've had so many. Awesome. Uh, I've I've had many near life ending experiences. You have? Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I felt that I had like a couple of pies. Oh, yeah. No, uh, just, uh, you know, even out on, on doing the quad racing, riding my quad racer. I, I was sure I was going to die this one time. And <laughs> and, as, and as I was going, because I'd, I'd come up off of this, this uh, berm on, on the yeah. place called the Sand Highway. And anyway, oh, it's yeah. just it's just a bunch of whoop de doos, long long road of them, and I'm hauling ass. I'm doing as fast as my bike would go, 65, 70 miles an hour, just yeah. flying off these things. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And at one point, I hit this one, and 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 somehow I I goosed it when I when I should have not. <laughs> and and then, and then the front end started coming up. Oh and shit! I, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something here that you're not gonna possibly believe. <laughs> okay. I was coming over. I was gonna go over backwards, endo. Right. Totally. At just when I was just flying at that speed, and I, I felt a hand on my back, it just pushed me yeah. back forward. I believe it. <laughs> and yeah, that was trippy. That was the trippiest thing. And I took the I took the rest I that weekend. My intervention. <laughs> I, I I I don't know, man, but I took the rest that weekend slow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, like all right, all right, I get it. <laughs> no, I mean that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So there was that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then there was another time uh, when I was much younger than that, uh, and and me and some friends were hanging out down by the uh, by the beach, Ocean Beach there. Yeah. And we're kind of goofing around, and I'm sitting on the back of this girl's car, and, and she starts driving along. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, no. <laughs> no, and she she knew I was there. She was having fun. We were, oh, having, okay. we were having a good old time. We were, we were all partied up. Around. We were We were all partied up. Yeah, okay. And anyway, I don't know what happened. She had to stop fast or something. Oh, but shit. Whatever. I fell off the back of the car. My head bounced off the pavement. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And I, and I was out of it there for a little while for I bet, yeah. <laughs> for some amount of time. Yeah. Well, I had a concussion. What's that? Concussion. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost no doubt on that one. But, uh, yeah, I never, you know. It hurt the day after. It, it, yeah, like I said, I was kind of out of it. So, you right, know, right. You, you can't really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so many times, so many close calls. Exactly, Cowboy Tech. It, it's that's just life. Life growing up, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you learn. You learn to not do certain things certain ways. Well, I thought I was dead <laughs> when I fell off the fucking. Ba I fell backwards off the steps of the high diving board. Oh really? No, I'm like, I'm, my head's gonna smash the pavement. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I thought I was done. And, and I and I always kind of figured that that at some some point in time, that's how I'm going to die. I'm going to trip over my own feet and smash into something. <laughs> That'll be it. it. You know, yeah. I mean, it'll be something weird. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a freaking clutch. You know, I, I'm not. I'm <laughs> yeah, not. I'm not, I'm not a coordinated guy. <laughs> yeah, you just you know you never know. You don't know. You, you don't. You don't know. But I figured that's how I'll wind up going. I'll trip, trip over my own, trip, trip, tripping over my own feet, probably. <laughs> I'll probably die trying to put my long underwear on and make it stuck and turn the wrong way, then I fall forward and smash my head on the face. Yeah, floor. see there, that, 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 you know, see, that would be me. A, you, you, you a piece sound, of clothing will take me out. I you, mean, yeah. really, a piece of clothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you sound a little clutchy yourself. Yeah, I, I, I should be. <laughs> I've had some moments. That's but all I, I was but I, I've, I've never had one of those, uh, what they call near-death experience. I never had one of those where... I would say, well, no, me either, because that's something when you're, like, just about ready to basically, die. Basically, yeah, you, or you've already died. Right. And then they right. bring you back. They bring but, you so back, I, I, yeah. I don't think I've ever had that. No, I've never had that. And, uh... Yeah, exactly. On the edge. <laughs> right, living on the edge. Yeah, I live That's in. That's what it's about. I'm pretty much in the middle now. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't get too close to the edge. No, and and it's not that I would mind doing it, but yeah, I don't really have it. Like the horseback riding, 
was really exciting because part of the time, like, you're on this little path, and this, it's just big enough for the horse, horse's feet to fit on, and you look on the, uh, you look to the left, you look down, and it's like a sheer drop-off, sheer cliff, and you're like, holy shit, fuck it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was that time when I was, like, four years old. <laughs> Yeah, now, I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the back of the car with uh, uh, my brother, and uh, we're and we're in a it was a uh, babysitter driving us somewhere. Oh, okay. Some some you know Mexican babysitter driving us somewhere up this up this <laughs> mount, uh, up up a mountain dirt road, up a mountain okay. dirt road, and um and he wanted me to roll down the window or something, and I'm like, which one is yeah. it? And I point to one. No, no, not that one. The other one. And, and so I, I started to grab it, to turn it, and that was the door handle. It wasn't the freaking window oh, thing. No. And, oh. and out I went, bloop, tumbling down oh the God. road. And it, we two were on a on a sheer, uh, you know, cliffside there. So I was, right. Oh shit. <laughs> it was a lot, lots of times. Yeah, you know, going through life as a kid, you almost die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh God, but that's you know, it makes that makes life interesting. Yeah, it, it does. It, it, it really does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's hear some more music here. All right, uh, let's do that. I got the, this uh, first track here is uh, I found it over on Minds dot com earlier today. It's a par- right. it's a parody of the song Painted Black, and and okay. it's about it's, it's about the, uh, the 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 well not just Twitter I think but uh, I'm gonna say Twitter because Twitter's been doing a lot of um, bad stuff lately. But this is about people on on your various um social media social networks social media that okay. you don't like and so you block them okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called paint it block <laughs> Ah, yes, that is Gary Moore with The Loner. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't love that, if you don't love his guitar playing, his style, just the overall experience of that, you have a damaged soul. And my recommendation to you is to listen to more Gary Moore, and your soul will be healed. Anyway, before that, we had 10 years after with Stoned Woman from Monroe's Retro. He makes the great videos and uh, good, good old songs. I don't know how he gets away with playing all those songs, but he does. Anyway, he kicked it off with the uh, parody, rock parody of Paint It Black called Paint It Block. Funny, funny video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Gary Moore for your damaged souls. There you go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what we got up here? Oh, okay. All right. So, um what do you think about the boys over there at CERN? Uh, they're playing with fire and messing with shit they shouldn't be messing with. They are doing exactly that. They are not they are they are not thinking right. There's something wrong with oh, them. Not. What is going on here? How come this didn't? How come I don't got a thing here? Load up. I think so. What oh, happened? Don't, don't, it's starting and stopping and doing weird stuff on me. All right. Weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what happened on that. Sometimes the pages don't load properly for me. I don't know, I hate that when that happens. It's just like, really? Yeah, yeah. My computer's doing that a lot. I want a new computer. It's like, I'm, re- I'm ready to have a new one. Yeah. But, what is going whatever. On? Yeah, exactly, whatever. They cost money. Yeah. Anyway, so these boys over at CERN, they got an idea. <laughs> they got okay, an yeah. idea. It's not good, people. It's not going to be good. CERN is going to transport antimatter in a van what? to study neutron stars. 
<laughs> That's right. Researchers at CERN. Why are you gonna fuck with everything? I'm sorry, but shit is just—it is for a reason. Don't fuck with it. Leave it alone. <laughs> researchers at researchers at CERN have gotten comfortable with antimatter. So yeah, com so comfortable, in fact, they're planning to load a billion antimatter particles into a van for a quick field trip. What? Tra transporting the highly volatile antiprotons could help scientists understand the inner workings of neutron stars. But that's not related to the antimatter itself. In this case, CERN intends to use the antimatter as a tool to probe exotic nuclei. <laughs> <laughs> just, what you're gonna put this in a van and drive it around? <laughs> it's like what, what, what? What are you, what are you boys up to? <laughs> right, don't, don't you do enough dumb shit already? Uh, you know, making the making black holes and stuff. Why, why did this not copy? Copy. I said copy. See, what's going on here? Weird stuff. All right. Um, so. Um, Yes, it says Stern, CERN has been, uh, not Stern, not Howard, CERN <laughs> has been studying antimatter for years, and uh, we have a reasonably good understanding. <laughs> what exactly does that mean? A reasonably good understanding of its properties. Oh, my God. They think they know. They think they have an understanding. <laughs> exactly. They don't know for sure. Basically, that means oh, we, okay. we, we have we no have idea. Company. We have no idea, so we're going to call it a reasonably good understanding. All particles of matter have antiparticle counterparts in antiproton, which has the same mass as a proton, but the opposite charge and spin. It's difficult to contain antimatter for, for, yes. for, study, yes. for study, but you can store it any place. Uh, every container yes. in the world is made of matter and antimatter. Uh, annihilates instantly. So if you have a container of this stuff, it will annihilate instantly uh, when it comes in contact with actual matter. So antimatter, touching matter, big stick go boom. Wow. Yeah, well, <laughs> Sir, he's riding the van with it. However, he, CERN is going to stick a cloud of antimatter in a van. And who's riding in the van with it? Who's driving the van? You know, I don't, I don't think it matters because once that once, once that shit blows up, I think no you, you, know, you you could be a long distance away. Apparently, they're only going for a short short. Uh, how how long did it say? A couple of kilometers. Why are they transporting it? Because they want to. Um, they want to understand neutron stars. Okay with everybody in the area. I, I don't think anybody else has any say on the matter. No, they don't. They do whatever they want. That's my point. Like, <laughs> you can be pissed, you can fucking say it's not right, they should just do it, but guess what? They're gonna you know, I, I, I gotta want to, have these guys... They're gonna do it anyway, they don't give a fuck. Have, these, do it. have these guys never seen Star Trek? Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah, because, because if they did, they wouldn't be screwing with antimatter in this way. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's just not... Just they, anyway, that's posted on extremetech.com. Yeah, they must not have a data exactly. They're ridiculous. They they probably got what? Who's that guy? The uh, the uh, uh, engineer, the Scottish dude, Scotty. <laughs> Scottish dude. Yeah, they got him. Yeah, yeah, they got Scotty. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got antimatter flowing out my proton hole. <laughs> Yeah, a van is a container. Right. A no, van. no, no, no. They're, 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 they're just gonna put it in a van without a container. It's gonna be in a container. I know. But what in kind of container? What <laughs> container? Is, but, but to destroy it, right? But, 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 but you heard what I said earlier that um, every it. container in this world made of matter and antimatter annihilates instantly. Right, so it's gonna blow up <laughs> when it comes into contact with actual matter. Yes. <laughs> so they're idiots. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah I, 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 I. 
when when is it supposed to happen? Um, let's see if they have a date in here. Yeah, that's what James Rand. If they're putting the news now, they probably already done it. Oh, oh no, no, they, no! They're not. They haven't done it yet. They're gonna. It's gonna take them four years to design the containment <laughs> vessel. The experiments are currently scheduled for 2022. So you, so you got a little while left to kiss your ass goodbye. All right. Okay. <laughs> There's a picture there show, showing you the, uh, uh, the container that they conceptually designed. Okay, Geniax. <laughs> uh, now, here, here's something yeah. else which may throw you for a little loop. Not, <laughs> not, not in that way, though. Not, not nothing quite so drastic as that. Okay. <laughs> But you heard over there in the UK, the KFCs ran out of chicken. I didn't hear that. I, I feel bad for them. Well, they did. And and so there's been, oh, well, one of the stories, and I don't think I saved the link for it, one of the stories earlier this week was people were calling 911 because what? because KFC had no chicken. And Are you kidding K me? And then they, had, they, they, then they had to close like half of their KFCs and, 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 and and, and and so you have to go to a, to a different KFC to get your poisonous chicken. However, they've come up with a new idea since they're so they can't get their chicken. Southern fried squirrel. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yes, indeedy. <laughs> Okay, I mean, is this fucking 1913, 1931? <laughs> so, so, some, some people in Britain hate gray squirrels enough to <laughs> devour them. Uh, with the UK's biggest purveyor of uh, fried chicken in crisis, perhaps we should be looking up our yes. our furry, feral friends. Perhaps. <laughs> says, one, one cold uh, Sunday morning last month, I visited Powell Hill, a glorious moorland, thick with pine trees that overlooks the Derwent Reservoir, northwest of Durham, and a clearing. Three amateur wildlife photographers in full camouflage gear sat on plastic bags and watched a red squirrel race across the bracken. As I watched the little fella leap from log to tree, the sunlight crackling across its tail, my natural thoughts turned to its gray cousin and what he would taste like. Deep fried, seasoned, with a little mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much people hated gray squirrels until I came to Powell Hill. They hate them because they blame them for the demise of the red squirrel. Now, well, that's kind of racist there. You don't like the gray, you like the red. Oh, the, anyway, they hate them so much that they eat them. Still, squirrel is low in fat and low in air miles, and the Internet is full of recipes. <laughs> I'll let you read this. I just thought it was. I just thought it was funny. Uh, you know, they've had. We've, there's been Kentucky Fried Rat that we know of. Um, yes. Of course, uh, not intentionally. We hope. But over there in the KFC in the UK, yeah. And squirrel is fine eating. Ain't nothing wrong with eating squirrel. Oh yeah, no, nothing wrong with it. Uh, I, I, I just, I just think it's hilarious that. Uh, it is. This is this is the direction they have to, <laughs> <laughs> to go, <laughs> or they're thinking about going. I don't think KFC's actually KFS, Kentucky Fried Squirrel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, I have to show yeah, you this video. Yeah. I have, to, I have to show you this video. Oh, no, the video has been removed. Oh, no. Oh, the video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment yeah. and bullying. And it was just a, it was a comedy video. It was a really? comedy, it was a comedy video, and it was called um, Harrison Hanks, the Ultimate Crisis Actor. Oh, it was right. hilarious. It was a funny video. Let me see if I can find another copy of it. Okay. Um, because <laughs> it was fucking funny. <laughs> wait, wait, here, this might be another copy of it. Uh, cri crisis actor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it here? Is it here? Okay, it looks like I got it here. Okay. All right, awesome. No, no, no. So people repost. People grab these and repost them. Yeah, and, they and and and, and, and so. Gosh. 
we're we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna allow the the audio into the uh, into the into the blah blah po- podcast. Uh, okay, awesome. Here you go, Harrison Hanks, crisis actor extraordinaire. Are you an elite? Are your staged attacks not going as planned? Are your globalist agendas failing because you're using subpar crisis actors? Well, then look no further. Hi, I'm Harrison Hanks, the ultimate crisis actor. Need a medical doctor? In 18 years as a medical examiner, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's over the top. 33 children died. You need a grieving husband? Did a right winger set off a bomb? Bro, well, yeah, we're just milling about it and I had a massive explosion. And I'm your man. Tired of melodramatic acting? There's light away from the darkness. I'm just trying to figure out if he's okay. I lost my 20 year old, but I had 20 years with my son. It's just tragedy. Horror and tragedy. Or maybe you need me to tone down my good acting to match your sorry lot of wannabes. In that case, I can go from this. My name is Bobby Palmer. My family is one of the families that lost a child. To this. My name is Bobby Palmer. And my family is one of the families that lost a child. Going for the guns takes subtlety, like this. I don't know how many more need to die before the president does something. Not this. Ed, please, could we do something with the assault weapons? And every one of those hands is a reason why those weapons should not be out in the general public. Because in this kind of a situation, what, what has changed? Have we learned nothing? Tired of green screen mishaps and disappearing noses? Me too. Is there anything else you want to say? I'm green screen ready, bonded, and insured. I can morph into a thousand different faces. I offer reasonable rates, and I have no conscience. Just pick your card to play on the world stage. From homeless to police officer, from doctor to witness, to your ace card, the grieving father. You can count on Harrison Hanks to push through your agenda. Regain their trust. Call Harrison Hanks for all your crisis needs. Thank you, and good luck. Well, there you have it, Harrison Hanks, crisis actor extraordinaire. <laughs> wow! Oh man, it's too funny. Um, yeah, it is. so I can't believe they pulled that original copy though. Um, well, you know they would. Yeah, yeah, they, they. It's just this video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. Yeah, I'm who is it? Crap. Who who is he bullying or harassing there? Oh, he, he was he was just trying to sell his skill as a as a crisis actor. <laughs> oh man! Wow. But uh, um, a, a, anyway, uh, there, there's been the, so much um, uh, quite interesting news coming out uh, th- this week about the whole uh, situation. Um, yeah. Uh, up up there on that. Uh, you, you know they. Uh, do I have? Let's see which links I have here on this. Uh, but uh, they, they, <laughs> CNN um, uh, rejected some guy because. Oh, here it is. Uh, oh no, this is a different one. A different CNN one. <laughs> so many, so many things about CNN. All the bad stuff they did. But uh, CNN had had tried to. They asked this one kid for a, for a, a question. And, and some comments about about the thing. One of the kids that was there at the, at the shooting, um, 
and and so the kid wrote some up and he and he gave it to him and they said oh yeah that's great but here read this question that we wrote for you and read this answer that we wrote for you right this is the these are the this is the speech you're going to give they totally scripted one out for him and he said bullshit i okay, i ain't take i ain't taking part in that um <laughs> I got I got nothing that's 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 got nothing to do with no, no, this is not me, this is not how I think, how I feel. You guys are just making crap up. Yep. So so he told him to go to hell. And and so that, that became a, a big thing. Um Oh, oh, but here's here's I'm gonna give you some propaganda from the star dot com. All right. <laughs> Because you heard of this other kid, David Hogg, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he's a he's a son of the FBI guy, and yep. and he's he's the one um, that was uh, like being interviewed during the shootings, and and yeah. do, and all, he was doing anti-gunner crap during the during the shootings. Of course. But here's the thing from the the propaganda article from the Star dot com. It says. Okay. Uh, how a despicable Parkland conspiracy video hit number one on YouTube. So it says, for a brief time on Wednesday, YouTube's top trending video featured David Hogg, a survivor of the Parkland massacre, who has spoken out for gun control. It claimed he's an actor. He isn't. Um, wrong, guys. He is. He's definitely an actor. He admits to being an actor. Yep. <laughs> anyway, David David Hogg, 17th survivor of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, got a long enough name there, mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, on February 15th, a video falsely claiming that Hogg was not a student but an actor. He was briefly the number one trending uh, trending video on YouTube before it was pulled for violating the company's policy on harassment and bullying, just like you saw in that other one there. So, so, so it says the caption claimed falsely, falsely, that Hogg yep. seventeen was not a student but an actor. Uh, the video originally posted in August was a brief local news segment. In it, Hogg was interviewed by CBS. So it was from back back in August. Interviewed by a CBS affiliate in Los Angeles after witnessing a dispute between a lifeguard and a swimmer. That was part of the thing. No, it was certainly will not ever be on NBC. Um, back, oh. uh, on Tuesday, a YouTuber uh, user who went under the name Mike M copied and re-uploaded the video with a new caption, David Hogg, the actor. With a descriptor, uh, Mike M tapped into conspiracies, conspiracies circulating online that the survivor of the Parkland shooting uh, besides, these would not be conspiracies. They'd be conspiracy theories. These, uh, you don't understand what a conspiracy is, maybe, the star. I don't know. But you're you're using the word totally incorrectly there. Yeah. These, these would not be conspiracies. They might be conspiracy theories. Theories about your conspiracies. <laughs> anyway, um, many of whom have recently spoken out. In favor of gun control, yeah, when the, all, all getting paid well by Mr. Soros or, yep. or Hillary Clinton or the whole gang on, on that side, the, uh, yep. B the Bloombergs of the world. So the reposted video uh, moved its way up the trending list overnight. By Wednesday morning, it had accumulated, accumulated more than 200,000 views. He says, I, have no, I, I, I had no idea where all the attention was coming from, said Mike M. in an online chat interview with the New York Times. I just noticed it started to take off. My, the, many commenters were confused. Why is this trending, especially on news? Nothing special, wrote one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll let you read. it's all just uh, it's total propaganda bullshit um, from the star. Thank you so much for that, the star. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think you're the star of, but it's certainly not the truth. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it's, it's absolutely um, against the agenda. The uh, craziness. Um, <laughs> oh, what happened to this here? I had, I know I had some other ones on here. 
Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know about the thing that the uh, the, the, the the school resource officer is what he's called. The, the cop that was supposed to be there to protect the school in case somebody yeah. came along to shoot it up. He when when he uh, heard some shooting, he went and hid behind a van, ducked down, yeah. and, and waited there for all the kids to be killed b before he decided to go on in. Oh, I don't have any right. more gunfire. The kid must be done shooting. I'm, I'll go ahead and go in now. Anyway, so he got, uh, well, they, they were going to um, fire him, basically, but he said he resigned, so he gets his full pension and all that crap. Anyway, armed police are guarding the home of the deputy who resigned over his lack of action. <laughs> so they, they, they he, he couldn't guard the school, but you got a bunch of pigs out there guarding yeah. his ass. Yeah, yeah, because cause they know, it, you know, once that story came out that people were going to be gunning for, for him. Uh, oh, yeah. Because, well, you know, grieving parents, if there are any, that we don't right. know. I watched the video yeah. last night. I, I don't have a link to that video. Um, but I watched the video last night that all the names that were listed are fake. They're made-up names or these people didn't exist, actually. Um, the, the, the guy searched all their birth records and couldn't find a single one, uh, and I, I, you know, I don't know what the uh, what to make of all that. Whether or not maybe the guy was searching the wrong place, or maybe right. maybe they were using fake names for all these people. Um, and, yeah. But of course, then they show the uh, police report. All the names are redacted from it. Um, yeah, something's fishy. Yeah, well, everything's fishy about this one. Yeah. But, um, so anyway, that, that's all I got to say about that. Now this pig, uh, this chicken ass pig. <laughs> okay. I saw. I've seen some great memes about it though today, um, and uh, it, it's just people are, you know, nobody nobody's buying the story. Nobody's believing any of it. Well, um, and, and 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 I think that's important. Um, that nobody's nobody's actually believing it. Um, and, and you got all these, uh, you know, all this too gun... too convoluted. It's too fucked up. You, you got all this gun control nonsense going on. But then, okay, now this is, this happened today. What? Update. Florida gun plan focuses on dangerous people. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 12 p.m. Florida governor's newly announced gun plan focuses on keeping firearms out of the hands of violent people. Governor Rick Scott said on Friday news conference in Tallahassee that he wants so, to make it, quote, virtually impossible for a dangerous person to get a gun. So so they're going to take all the guns away from all the cops? Well, they, you would think. Well, I mean, you talk, you're talking about violent people. people. There's, there's nobody more violent than they're those dangerous. guys. Right. Anyway, um, Scott's plan creates a, quote, violent threat restraining order, unquote, allowing a court to prevent a violent person from having a gun when family member or law enforcement officers present evidence of a threat. In addition, anyone involuntarily committed for mental health treatment would, would be required to surrender their firearms for a minimum of 60 days. Of what? People subject to protective orders for stalking, cyber-stalking, and domestic violence would also be prevented from having or buying a gun. Uh... So anybody that somebody anybody that somebody accuses of something, they'll 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 put right. them, put them in a mental institution and take their gun. Scott's plan also calls for a trained law enforcement officer in every school in Florida by the time the twenty eighteen school years begin. He is proposing one officer for every thousand students on campus. Uh, Stoneman Douglas had one armed resource officer who never entered the school during the shooting. The sale of bump slaps will be completely banned on this proposal. The plan will require mandatory actor shooting training. Okay, this is this is the bit this is the bit right here. This is the kicker. The plan will require mandatory actor shooting training at all schools. Teachers, students, teachers and staff must complete all training and code red drills by the end of the first week of each semester. <laughs> Um, an off-duty police. So, oh, yeah. so just think of all the opportunities they're going to have for for a. Oh my uh, god, this is crazy. All the opportunities they'll have for a drill to go live now. Yes, this is crazy. <laughs> this is not good. This guy's a psycho. 
I watched part of it live before I went to work. Oh, today. I, I wanted, so I wanted he, to. Yeah. He is fucking psycho. This guy, you can. He's got. He, he looks. Look at his eyes. Oh, that he's that guy up. in the picture there. Yeah. Yeah. Skeletor. Kind of dude. Now I wanted to mention that the. the uh, Governor Scott is fucked up. The <laughs> the uh, the um, sheriff down there in Broward County. What's his name again? I can't remember. I know the Israel. Name. His name is freaking Israel. Really? Is it? <laughs> his last name is Israel. I forget what his first name is, but um, <laughs> wow. He's he's like the super Jew sheriff, and give me all your guns. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this happened today too. Uh, it happened uh, yesterday. <laughs> These are the people they're going to be going after. Let me tell you right now. This from the Sacramento Bee. Students in Louisiana thought this math symbol, the square root sign, looked like a gun. Police were called. <laughs> I'm not what looks like a gun? The, the square root symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Off the hook, people. <laughs> the, the, the discussion among students at Oberlin High School in Oberlin, Louisiana, uh, about a math symbol led police to a police investigation in search of one of the students' homes, uh, according to the Allen Parish's office. On on the afternoon of February 20th, detectives investigated a report of terroristic threats at the school, where they learned that a student had been completing a math problem that required drawing the square root sign. Oh my God! <laughs> students, really? students in the group began commenting that the symbol, which represents a number multiplied by itself, that in, which equals another number, looks like a gun. <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> after, after several students made comments along those lines, another student said something that the, sh the sheriff's office said could have sounded like a threat out of context. The police searched the student's home where they found no guns or any evidence that he had access to guns, just a notepad and some math homework. Uh, uh, authorities also wrote there was no evidence the student had any intent to commit any harm other than the... Oh, it's fucking paranoia, people. Uh, other, this is like fucking off the chart. The, the, only, the only harm was the indoctrination of the school um, uh, that was being done. <laughs> Wow. Yes. No. <laughs> so fuck it. The kid's doing his math, and, and all of a sudden, it's a gun. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's crazy shit. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Let's hear some more music. Yeah, let's do that. Wow. Uh, this, this is the world. Unfucking believable. This, this is the world that we're currently residing in. It's unreal. This is what people think. This is the way they act towards nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Um, <laughs> anyway, now we are um, apparently uh, cured. No, but it's just like heaven. There's a little Joe Cocker request for Hansel, Cry Me a River. Uh, and um, I think he was uh, putting that in there for uh, socialist tears. Uh, anyway, Hansel, next time, uh, just just for future reference, I'd just say, uh, when you make a request, uh, review the video and make sure the sound quality is decent, because that one was really muddy. But yeah. uh, it's a great song, great song. It's a really good video. Great, great, great song, but uh, and the video doesn't have to be so great, but the, but the audio quality is important. Anyway, before that, we had uh, the the legendary rhythm and blues review. <laughs> Doing I ain't drunk. Uh, that's uh, Tom, Tommy Castro and the Painkillers with uh, on lead. There you saw Ronnie Baker Brooks, also uh, Magic Dick and Deanna Bogart in there on that. So. Uh, 
the legendary Rhythm and Blues review from the cruise that happened on uh, February 6th. And we kicked it off there with the infamous String Dusters, Just Like Heaven. Just, just Like Heaven, The Cure, an old Cure song. So, uh, great stuff there, as always. <laughs> I'm so glad they did that video because it was, like, so cool. It's, like, at a roller rink and it's an old a cover song of a cute... I just thought that was awesome. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a Freakers Ball song. I'm like, fuck yeah, boy. No doubt. No doubt. They keep, they keep, they keep surprising me. They're just awesome. They won a Grammy. Oh, did they? Fucking, oh, yeah. Best Bluegrass Band of the Year. You betcha, baby. Excellent. Yeah, they're fucking, they're on fire, dude. And they're going to be a blue us again. Oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Yep, yep. And so, um, and it, <laughs> it's just going to be an awesome festival season this year. I'm going to, like, three killer festivals this year. Like, they're going to be off the fucking chain, dude. Like, Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, I don't think they can be topped, dude. Um, yeah, that was the cure, Beth, just like heaven. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good cover. I, I'm so glad they did that cover. That just really tickled me. It was just like, you guys are awesome. You guys are sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are baby. So I am totally a fucking geeky fan. Totally fucking geeked all of these guys. They're just fucking... When I was at Blue Lock, I saw him last year. I was like right stand, like right in front of Salto. Uh huh. Like, two people were ahead of me. Now, now, like, now. I'm um, like, fuck yeah, Salto! I'm like, Salto! I'm like, I was, oh man. There it was, was a, uh, there was a, uh, some 80s guy um, named yeah. Salco. Yep, it was a, like, um. Some new wave guy or something. I don't know what he was. Wave, like back in the 80s or whatever. Yeah. Like, when new wave is like trying to first start coming out. Like he was like a, he was like from Europe though, I think. I don't think he was from the U.S. Europe. He might have been. But I, I don't know where he was from. I just know that I, I recognize you saying Falco. And I, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Falco's yeah, that guy. Andy Falco is the guitarist. And he is so amazing. Like I said, I Uh-oh, do we lose, do we lose the audio stream? Looks like we might have lost the audio. I don't know. The uh, the audio stream could have could have lost the audio stream. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a possibility. But I was saying like I was right in front of Alpha man. Just watch him like so close to be able to see him close up and do it. Not he's, not, he's like Jay. Like Jay is my favorite in partner. I mean, and I just love guitarists, man. Like, I mean, Car freak. I mean. Guitarists just get me. I mean, I don't know what it is, but if you can play the fucking guitar like a motherfucker, oh my fuck god, dude. An acoustic guitar? Look the fuck out. I'll dump your fucking bones. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it looks like the uh, the audio stream blanked out for a second and then came back. Oh, okay, good. So, uh, good. sorry, you audio yeah, listeners. No, I mean, I told Jay, I told you. Jay from Pertnir, like, I have no problem against walking up to the point. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I can just walk around to him and say, I love you. <laughs> He's like, they're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Usually they're just like, okay. You know, I'm just like, no, seriously, your guitar play, like, I'll tell them why. Like, I'll be like, I love you. Your guitar play is awesome. Like, I mean, I seriously geek fan you don't. Not bad where I fuck them or anything. No, I'm not like a groupie. Are you sure? Um, most of these guys are married and shit. Like, I'm not fucking trying to get in their pants or anything. I'm just trying to fucking, I mean, I'm fan crushing on them, you know? It's like, I love the kind of music. I, I appreciate it. It brings joy to my life. I'm going to, like, obviously want to thank them. You know what I mean? I yeah. thank them that, um... So I, I I just I just appreciate it. I just want to tell them that. You know? Oh right, I mean, no doubt, no doubt, yeah. yeah. Like even when I talked to Sarah Voswinkel from Dead Horses at the bar at Mall's Shop last year, I mean I was like, you're awesome. I'm like, and she's like, oh thank you, you know. And they act all modest and everything, but it's like, no seriously, girl, you're you're great. Keep doing what you're doing. So that's what I tell them. 
know what I mean? Sure, sure. Don't give up. You're great. You know, I, they like to hear that, I think. You know what I mean? I really do think they like to hear that. Right, and if you could bone them just an extra, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you, know, geez, you know, that would be like tossing them a cake or something. <laughs> well, that's a whole different story. I'm that we, we, we may not want to use that. I am that, kidding. We may I not am wanna, not like that. You, I am kidding. I am joking around. You, you may not want to use that particular phraseology. No. No. <laughs> no, you don't want to. You don't want to use that phraseology. No, that's not. The, no. You know, I'd be like, can I bone you? Let's get bone. Yeah, let's get <laughs> I am joking. I am not. Ki I'm not. Well, no, kicking. no. I, I, I meant the frosting on the cake bit. Oh yeah, that too. That was not here. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> frosting on the cake. No, that's that's so lame. <laughs> I know, I know, it, it, because it's so awesome. They they tell <laughs> they they put this out there, and and you got to believe that most people believe it. You got to okay. believe uh, that most people. But they do. They eat it up like candy. It's like really your dumbass. Don't eat a propaganda. It's bad for you. Well, if it was only the propaganda they were eating, might not right. be so bad. But here's injected with toxic shit. That but but all. here's what they're feeding you from the Guardian. The drugs do work. Antidepressants Which, are effective, study oh, shows. No, they are not. They make you commit suicide. <laughs> well, yeah, oh. but, you're, but, but you do it in a happy way. Yeah, not, no, you don't. No, you're miserable. They make you worse. <laughs> they make you worse. They make you want to commit suicide. Listen, listen, listen. Suicidal. Listen. That's what they do. Uh, yeah, so, it's guardian. Of course, Beth. It's, a fucking, it's, it's like CNN of fucking UK. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I agree with that too. It says, Doctors Hope study will put to rest doubts about the medicine and it's help to yep. and help to address uh address global like under treatment address global under treatment of depression. Now they're feeding these things to like fifty percent of the people already. Yeah, this is insane. This, this is a stupid or this is a fucking totally skewed <laughs> Propaganda article, like you said, <coughs> totally. <coughs> yeah. All right, here you go. Antidepressants work some more oh, effectively, some some more effectively than others in yeah, treating depression. Suicide. That's what they do. According to the authors of a groundbreaking study, <laughs> millions more people around the world should be prescribed pills. Or offered. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all we can do. It. Yeah, yeah. For for moderate to severe depression, says the doctors, noting oh, noting oh. that it's just, hey, noting that just one in six people receive proper treatment. So there's basically saying one in six people in the world are yeah, getting so these drugs pumped into them. I have a I have an argument. And and, and also, it's, but it's depression. only but it's only one in twenty seven oh. in the developing countries. So, uh, so they, they really want to pump up those developing countries with more of these with more of these crazy drugs. I I, 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 I I can't even really read it. I can't. I, I really can't. Mild depression can be cured with sunlight. I mean, well, there's so many things. Sunlight at your fucking desk by your computer, like what I have, because I do not suffer from SAD any longer since I've had this light. I mean, seasonal affective disorder is a real thing. But also, I do what I said. When if even if it's fucking ten degrees outside and sunny out, I go outside and I suck up some, soak up some of that fucking sunlight. <laughs> well, vitamin D, yeah, and that know, will make you undepressed. You know, they they they're going to have to ban the sun because, well, no, that, that, that's that's just. You're you're not you're not oh, paying you're not you're not. If they ban the sun, the earth dies. You're, oh, yeah, you're not true. you're not paying big pharma, so the sun's just not allowed. You'll you'll, every, yeah, you'll have to you'll have that that's that's, like, that's 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 probably half yeah. the reason they want women to wear burkas. If you get rid of the fucking sun, the planet <laughs> dies. All women all women will have to wear burkas because you're getting no, no, sun, fuck that. and the well, sun fuck and you. the sun is curing your your depression, and you, they can't have that. That's just that's just no good. 
So, um... <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. This shit's getting out of fucking control. I know, Beth. They don't fucking give a shit. I mean, this stuff's, like, out there. It says, it's, we're, in like, we're in, like, bizarre. It says possible. here, it says here, in the U.K. alone... In the, U in the U.K. alone, it is likely that at least one million more people per year should have access to effective treatment for depression, either drugs or psychotherapy. <laughs> it's an agenda. <laughs> Fucking A, man. <laughs> and so I've had to, like, combat this agenda, like, being who I am, how I think and everything. I mean, there's there's a lot of us out there, but we're not, like, Unify. We're uni We're not like together. But but I have to you know wonder. Understand? I have to wonder how many of these people were on those drugs. Which ones? Seattle residents complained about a Confederate flag. It was actually the flag of Norway. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> there's, suddenly there's a Confederate flag flying uh, 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 in front of my house in my in my Greenwood neighborhood. Anyway, over the oh, weekend... Oh, God. <laughs> over the weekend, the Seattle Times jumped at the news tip. There was a Confederate flag flying beneath the American flag in the city's Greenwood neighborhood, and residents were very concerned. Only it turns out... Yeah, not quite a Confederate flag at all. It was the flag of Norway, and a group of friendly Norwegians were just trying to show <laughs> Sorry, them, show them It's a Norwegian flag. Even I would know that, but I haven't been a Norwegian, and my grandmother was four foot. Like, what the fuck is that? So I grew up with the the Ufta and the Lennonudigas, the fucking bullshit, and the candles on the tree, the real tree, and almost started on fire. Okay. Okay, this is eager, eager to get the scoop, the reporters for Seattle Times hopped into a car and hightailed it to view the offending flag for themselves. Oh, yeah, the offending flag. Oh, my God. It says that it's the Norwegian flag that the uh, Norwegian oh, owner... God. The Norwegian owner of the flagpole in question says, How it's been dare up. you fly a different flag than the U.S. flag? How dare you? It's been up since the start of the Olympics. Good. <laughs> yeah, Good. I, I guess they put the it up. To, to Norway. So fucking what? Who gives a flying crap? <laughs> oh, it's classic oh my stuff. Fucking God, people! Get your panties <laughs> out of a fucking wad already! But they can't my be. God. They, 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 they get moments out of fucking molehills. You're fucking stupid fucks. You're, you're but, idiots. But the problem, oh. the problem is they 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 can't get their head out of their ass because they're they on those. Can't. They're, right. They're, they're on oh, the... Oh, get another vaccine on the wall. We're into the wall, Mark. You know, I'll just go down there and I'll get one of them. Because they told me I gotta do that. So I better go fucking do that. Well, they're on those Stop drugs. Ass. They're on, they're on really? those drugs, so... Take for yourself much, buddy? <laughs> anyway. Really? <laughs> anyway. If If I... Whenever I die, I want this for my funeral, if I have a funeral... Um, uh, but apparently in China they're not liking it so much. Apparently, <laughs> China wages war on funeral strippers. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he even, you don't even care? You want to have a stripper at your fucking funeral? I don't give a fucking crap. Hey, look, funerals are funerals. <laughs> funerals funerals are boring and sad. So you might as well. well have some naked, naked dancing up. girls up there. What's better than lie up at a funeral than that? <laughs> Nothing. Dancing, you know, That'd be great. Dancing girl. Yeah, be great. Naked for all I, I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, you know, appar but apparently, apparently, China has just <laughs> launched its latest crackdown against the phenomenon, which just is this really? Oh my god! Which just won't seem to die in rural areas. Funeral strippers. Who cares? The Ministry of Culture said last month it was targeting striptease and other obscene, pornographic, and vulgar performances. Uh, these these girls are not vulgar at all. They're pretty. Anyway, oh, they're they're hot. Yeah, at they're funerals, like, yeah, at, funerals, at, funerals at weddings, and traditional strippers at the wedding. Oh yeah, I like that too. And traditional Chinese yeah, New Year yeah. public gatherings. Uh, the war on strippers at funerals has been a long <laughs> one for China. <laughs> Authorities began clamping down on the obscene performances in 2006. Okay. 
Now, but but it says down here, some <coughs> com some communities in rural China reportedly believe that bigger attendances at funeral help honor the dead and bring them good fortune. Hey, what's so, wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Some experts, some experts say the erotic show pay a, tribu pay a tribute to fertility. There you go. <laughs> you know, come on. Get over it. Get your panties out of a wad, people. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, and, get, and just, just force yourself. You'll feel a lot better. You'll and, get, feel more and, and get your dollars, your, your yuan, whatever out. And, and give it. Panties in the, having your panties in a wad is uncomfortable. And, and tip, tip them strippers. I, I mean, they, they need tips. Yeah. They're dancing at a funeral after all, god damn it. Right. Yeah, give I mean, them, give come them. on now. <laughs> Tough getting a funeral, you know? All right, we got to do our last set here. Right, um, <laughs> crazy now, fucking now, shit. Now, I play, I play this first song. I, I play the, you can't make this stuff up. No, you can't. I play the first song in this set as a as a tribute to all, all of you. Uh, well, a it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a training training song for all you crisis actors out there. This is L7. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Mason Rack Band absolutely tearing it up at the Blues Moose Cafe with their version of Black Betty. That was back in 2014. Uh, or just before that, for Miss Beth Z, we listened to the Foo Fighters in times like these. Uh, leading on into that was John Five in the Creatures on Hell Hall. <laughs> and we kicked it off uh, with our little uh, tribute training song to the Crisis Actors, L7, Pretend We're Dead. <laughs> now, tomorrow at noon Eastern, you're going to have uh, Grammy Marion Flash Droid. Maybe just flash, I don't know. Uh, at the dark table right here on RLM Radio, noon Eastern. Don't miss it. Uh, I'll be on Sunday at noon Eastern with the blues, and we'll play some trivia here in the chat. Have a good old time. Uh, come on in, uh, party with us uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, noon o'clock Pacific, on that same Sunday. We'll be Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up a large size can of whoop ass. And uh, then at 7 p.m. Eastern, Gary L. and Gigi's Boo going down the road list traveled. Grammy starts back again on Wednesday at our normal time, 7 p.m. Eastern, and uh, on Friday, and we'll be back again next Friday, right here, same bat time, same freaky channel. You know it. <laughs> so, all right, people. All right, have a freaky weekend. Have a freaky, kick-ass weekend. Talk to y'all later. See ya. Peace. Peace.